I'm Jenny. Hi, I'm Melina. And we're here today to put up the Epps Biting Fly Trap. And it is a product of Horse Line Products. This is the box here. There's two trays, and I'm going to start pulling out the pieces that will be in the instructions. We are not going to use them during this demonstration. If you like to use instructions, we have included them for you in your box. This is what Finding Fly Trap should contain. Tori, walk up to them. Okay. You can edit it out. Tori, can we start with the trapping first? Say what you want to have the poles put in, and these are seven foot T posts. You want to have them be tall, you want this trap to be tall. If you have to use six foot T posts, that is acceptable, however, seven foot T posts are better. You want to have it at an angle like this. Go ahead and you may want to glance at your instructions uh, for making sure you get those at the correct angle. The first thing you want to start with is your end cap right here. What this does is it's going to go on our tray, which is going to hold your water. So what we do with this is pretty simple. Okay, so what you first want to do is hook it up with these four alignment tabs here on the short end of your end cap. This is the long end, this is the short end. You're going to pull it at an angle like this so that now all these alignment tabs are touching. Then you're going to come over to this side of the trap and you're just going to gently push your foot down until it goes into these alignment tabs. And don't worry about them breaking. They're just there until you screw on your other feet. The alignment tabs that she's saying might break. These right here. These and With four. your second side, you're going to put it in with your alignment tabs like that. Come over onto this side. Use your foot. Use a little bit of pressure. Just kind of push it in there until it's all the way clipped in. And there you go. Your first try is done. These are the bolts you're going to use next. They come together in your package like this. There's eight of them, and you'll take them apart like that. Come apart like that. Okay, you're going to need this one. You're going to drop it down in that little hole right there. Then you're going to take this one. need that tool. Go. Kind of push your hand on this side and then you tighten it like this. And then it's tight. And that is why those little alignment tabs are not important. That actually the end holds. cap, sorry, onto the tray. Okay, so we'll do that. okay now we're going to do the next one. Sometimes you have to kind of push it over just a little bit. This off of this, push it over to get the holes to line up, and you do the same thing. You put that in there, you take this one, and you put it on this side. And you turn it in and there. Sometimes you have to push on this side to get it in there. Then you take your 7 16th socket wrench, and you tighten it. Now I'm going to be putting my bolts, the same bolts Jenny was using just a moment ago, the eight that you'll find in your hardware bag. I'm going to be using it to screw the end caps onto the tray. First thing you're going to do is take this piece, drop it down in this groove here. Okay. Now you are going to come over to this hole. here. Put your bolt through it and as you can see now they're lining Sometimes up. Sometimes you have to push the end cap to your socket wrench. Okay so you're going to tighten that in like that and get that nice and tight in there and that's holding it on. You're going to need one regular hammer. You're going to have your four end pieces here with a rubber band. Just unrubber band them. Take one peg, you should be able to push it in a little bit like that. 
gently, gently. And then you're gently just going to tap this in with a hammer. You don't have to do it very hard, or it might break. Just very gently. Tap it in, just like that. If you break it, you can order a replacement tab because we sell each one of our pieces individually. So you can just call us and place an order if you break an end tab. So the next piece you're going to put in is the deflector arm or bent arm. This here is the little raised hole where you're going to line it up with the hole in your bent You're going to want to put your deflector arm at an angle to put it in the hole, push it through. Then you're going to have a little bit out. This, this is a lock type bolt. When you put it on, it's going to allow the arm to swivel. It will not be tight. Then we're going to put Then I'm going to show you how to put the plug in. We found that guys can push the plugs in easier than we can. But we have come up with a very easy way. Plugs don't have to go all the way in. And we take a little vegetable oil, put a little vegetable oil around it, put a little vegetable oil in the plug hole, and we push our plug in, and we just wiggle it back and forth. Then you flip it down, and the plug is in. Okay, this is your thin plastic tarp, which is going to be the top piece of your, in between your middle two T-posts. You're going to use four zip ties that are included. So, all right below the white line. Below the white line? Right at the white line. You put them in the holes. You pull it snug as you it can go. You can pull the top snug snug Okay, next we're going to put our tray in between our T-posts so we can hold it on with the U-bolts. You're going to want to have your parts that are going to go with it. You can set them inside. The parts you're going to want to put in your tray are two U-bolts, the flat metal brackets that go with the U-bolt, and these star bolts that move the edges of them twist, four of them. And now you're going to take your tray and put it in your trap. Sometimes if your posts are too close together, you'll have to move it a little bit and be able to get your trap in where you want. Not so highly. Okay. Once you have your trap in place, you're going to want to take your U-bolts, put it in the two holes, then you're going to come back on this side. You're going to get your metal bracket. You're going to grab two of your star bolts. Put one on. And the other one. Put it on. And we'll tighten those when we get the other side. And I've, I've been doing the exact same thing on this side. And as you can see, sometimes it'll just be a little bit off. Um, it's, it's okay. It's just, you just have to maneuver it a little bit, wiggle it around a little bit until you can get the bolt on. Now we're going to take our ratchet. And that should have got it and tighten these up. Sometimes after you put the water in your trap, you'll just have to move it a little bit up or down or one way or the other to make sure that your trap is level so the water is level in your trap. Now you're gonna take your wide black piece of plastic. This is gonna be the middle that goes between your two trays. You're gonna get four of your black zip ties included. Put it on. And make sure your 
zip ties are tight because you can get it to make sure that this is taut. Now we're going to put our second tray onto our fly trap. You're going to have two U bolts, two metal plates, and four of the star bolts that spin. And a ratchet. Remember, it might be a little bit difficult to put your trap in, so you're going to need to have one side down and just kind of fiddle it into place. We're going to get our U-bolt, put it around the T-post, and insert it in the two holes right there. We're going to get our metal plate and insert it onto the U-bolt. Now with your star bolt, the spin area, the star area, is going to go towards your T-post, just like that. Next, you're going to take your long plastic tarp, that's going to be your side panel. Your tie wraps that are included, you will use and you're going to tie wrap it all the way down on both sides of the, the top. Holes, the holes do not have to be lined up. Just put the tie wraps in wherever there is a hole in the tarping. Now there is a hole here that we cannot get a tie wrap in because of where the, tr the tray is positioned. Just ignore it and leave it alone. Try to get your tarp as straight as you can and repeat on the other side. Next you're going to get your clear plastic deflector sheet. You're going to get your straight arm and insert it in the plastic on sleeve. one side only. Once you go around. Pop on. Insert the clear plastic under your black bent arm in your trap. Usually, you do it before you fill it up with water. But the rain filled our trap up with water last night. Last night. Now you're going to put the sand to the side of the deflector sheet. Feed it through, sort of like a curtain rod. And then you put it inside. Put them both at the same time. And then push you push this down real tight, the bent arm, to make it as taut as it can be. 